northwest frontier scene gets us off to a thunderous start. But we're not up the Khyber Pass, but in an armory of antique firearms, almost enough to restage every battle ever fought. We're in the vaults of the National Army Museum at Sandhurst, with spears, swords, homemade rifles, flintlocks and percussion cap carbines galore, and they're all kept in perfect working order. Nothing is as new as you think. A German Mauser pistol dating back to 1900 slots into its own case to make an automatic rifle. That could be in the man from uncle's kit. Most of any museum's work goes on behind the showcases. Historians become gunsmiths, collecting and repairing weapons of the past from the days when war was a flag-waving affair. But now the proud banners and regimental colors are often tattered and torn, so there's a delicate job restoring some of their former glory, precise and loving care for colors soaked in military pride. Colors carried a regiment's honor, soldiers too decked themselves resplendently. The Army Museum has thousands of uniforms from the pre-Khaki days when war was more of a sporting occupation for gentlemen. Colorful reminders of the thin red line and the boys in blue. A beplumed officer of the 13th Lancers before 1914 and the 12th Lancers complete with pith helmet and sword. Military paraphernalia from the past has a quality no longer associated with making war. The famous Sutlej gun captured from tribesmen during the Sikh wars is a cannon and a work of art from the days when combat was considered to be an art. But the mechanics have never been simple. So young soldiers once played with toy soldiers to learn tactics and drill movements. Art or not art, War certainly leaves behind some bizarre relics, like the bullet in the battery, or a field canteen used by soldiers in Wellington's army. Here stand the bones of Boney's favorite horse, Marengo. And here, history with a kick in it, remembering the day they tried to make a great war battlefield into a game of football. Historians hoard the ironies and tragedies, as well as the trumpets and the glory. But history happens every day, and the problem is finding space to store the debris of great events. It's a job set against the...